What if that nagging feeling in the back of your neck was real? What if those hands reaching out from the dark that you believed were there, were there? What if the monster in the basement really existed? And what if there was really something under the bed? Would you have the courage to face your fears? Hello, brave souls. I'm your host, Paul Rondo, and tonight's story is called Haunted. It's your first night in your new apartment. Your stuff is still in boxes. Your furniture, with the exception of the mattress on the floor, hasn't arrived yet. The utilities won't be turned on until the next day, so you're making do without. A flashlight and some candles would do for light until you go to sleep. Despite the creepy feeling of being in a dark, empty apartment all alone, you chalk up the nervousness and try to get some sleep. A sound wakes you up. You lay there for a moment, waiting to decide if it was real or just your imagination being too loud. When the sound happens again, you check yourself for the time. Two in the morning. You get up, using your cell phone for light, and make your way towards the kitchen. The apparent sound of the noises. At first, you think someone's broken into your apartment, but you choke down your reaction as you stare at the figure. It is a middle-aged man, wearing what amounts to striped pajamas, standing in front of the microwave with his back to you. Although seemingly solid, you can also see through his body. You're paralyzed, mostly out of fear, but partly out of curiosity. Hey, you finally manage to say. The man looks in your direction, turning slowly. Your eyes open wide as you realize the man has no lower jaw, letting his tongue hang free. Your vision loses focus and the apparition disappears. A sound wakes you up. It's your phone vibrating against the floor. It's morning. Or at least light is coming in through the window. You're back on your mattress, and the missed call is from your mother. You're confused about the night before, and still shaking from the experience of what you saw. Was it a dream? Or did you really see a ghost? Thank you for listening to the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for some more spooky stories, and uh, as always... Always remember to face your fears.